Okay, this is a coconut tree. We are trying to make it to a bonsai. So this is an experiment yet because I haven't really done a coco bonsai yet. So this uh, this is a yellow one. See, and I have cleaned this one here because this is already in the stage of uh, leaf reduction. Now the challenge now here is to reduce its leaves. So and also to further reduce the roots so that uh, the leaves will be reduced. So this is actually a very tall one and it has very large leaves yet. See that's the leaves I even uh, cut it. So it's this is about 70% of its full size. The leaves are 70% of the normal size. So we'll be uh, the job now is to reduce its root further. So that's it. We have removed the wires and we are now uh, trying to lift this out from this from the path, from its path. to remove the roots slowly or gradually so that we can see what's going on so we'll remove about 50% of the roots that's quite drastic but I think it will survive So this is what's left. I think I took more than fifty percent, but anyway, we are going to put this in shade after this. So This will be treated as cutting and will be put back to its same path so there will be lots of room to grow. Okay. Feel my experience the the root only grows from this 
to that but I would like to have more roots finer roots to grow from here but I don't know if that will be the characteristic of the okay. so but at least now I I am showing how I am experimenting it and hopefully other uh, other guys who who are experienced with this can comment or would add to our knowledge. I tried googling it, but I do, I cannot find any information regarding how to bonsai a cocos. If I'll be successful, then I'll be the first one to share how. Okay, so this has been three years in that part which is basically large so it created this trunk this large and the leaves were very big that leaves almost as big as if about 70 percent of its full size so that's what's left and we're going to put it back in the same part We are not tying the Then this this gets a washing just like uh, in other bonsai. We are working on a another one that's still a two year old, two years in the pot. As you can see, the the nut is still with the tree. So uh, now we are going to remove the nut and cut some roots but we will not cut the lids so we'll just remove about 30 percent of the roots then and without the nut now then put it in the same pot so leave it there for maybe another two years So that's how thick the roots are. About 50% then, about 50% of the roots.
need to remove the large roots. And leave a root ball where the large roots are. Most of the large roots should be removed. The front, I'm not going to remove any front. But when I, I, I usually, what I usually do is I just cut the front, cut, I mean, uh, lessen the size of the front by cutting the leaves in half, but uh, I'm not going to do that now, I'm trying to, I will try to see how much this uh, coconut can survive with just a root prone and no removing of the fronts. There are about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fronts, and that is the that's a healthy quantity. Uh, I'm experimenting, so this one is I'm not removing the fronts. Uh, all I will be doing for this coconut tree is just root pruning. The pot is also a little bit bigger than what it needs, so there will be plenty of room to grow. are taxing my root cutter. Anyway, that's, that's the job. Without removing the front, then I guess since the tree is in a constantly balancing act, it will find that it will find out that the roots are much lesser than it needs to grow the front. So it will put its energy, much of its, of its energy, to produce new roots, and the new roots that it will produce are anticipated to be finer ones which is fit for bonsai the new root should be finer ones which is more fitted for bonsai This one doesn't have a trunk yet. This is about two years old from started from nut from a nut. I 
ceduk, jadi ceduk. Okay, the water will sit the person in place. So that's it, three sixty. There's a lot of room to grow because we still want to grow this maybe up to 5 inches then after 5 inches this thick then the next work will be front reduction, front size reduction that will be about 2 years maybe from now So that's the experiment. The other one, I did not reduce the front. I did not cut a, any of the front. And the other one is, I remove about six fronts and just le leave about two to front. That's on the yellow one. Okay, the yellow one has uh, a uh, longer uh, hard part in the trunk. I don't know what's what's the English for that, but on the uh, on the green one that is much younger, that's still about that's more than two years old. But the one and the the yellow one is more than three years old and probably four years old. So uh, we will we will be posting an update, and I hope you enjoyed.